it's sort of being on a global circuit. I mean, you know, a lot of I don't I have never found in the past a lot of Indian uh, singers going out on a global circuit and then of course you know getting recognized too. Uh, so how different is it? And you know, what have you learned from you know a global uh, scene that you think that India could also adopt? I feel like India is really out there. Uh, India has never gotten a chance to prove itself. It's not gotten a chance to show its talent. Uh, Ayushman and I have uh, always had this vision of taking India to the world uh, ever since we started working together when I was 18. And uh, even though Bollywood was the mainstay in, in India and we were like, okay, if we have to become a big name, we have to do Bollywood music. But my end goal was always to do pop music and global music. Uh, up until then, we had only uh, A.R. Rahman Saab who had somewhat, you know, made ripples outside uh, of, of India, but that too in a score, uh, you know, perspective, as a composer, as a score, score writer uh, for films, for feature films, but we never saw pop artists, we never saw, uh, uh, you know, we didn't have our own, I would say, like Justin Bieber's or Beyonce's or Rihanna's or, you know, uh, all the pop stars that we see in the West and all these amazing industries, India never had that, and I think that's what I'm striving to do, to probably, you know, build this whole pathway for iPop, uh, Indian pop, and uh, you know, take it to a global stage. Uh, having done a lot of global collaborations, uh, one being with uh, the, you know, the famous pop star Ed Sheeran, uh, I did a song with him called Two Step. Uh, you know, things like these have catapulted me in, in you know, in a different kind of, uh, uh, I would say a level, I would, and I want to be there because I really want to inspire a lot of Indian artists to follow. Uh, you know, suit. Uh, I had when I when I did control and when I did you, I got a lot of messages from Indian singer songwriters saying, uh, "Hey, Arman, thank you for doing this. I know you're a mainstream Bollywood singer, but when you took this step, I also got the confidence to do this. So I think that was what I wanted to do: create a little effect in our own country uh, and kind of like go forth for that dream. And I think Ayushman should say a little bit about. Uh, the whole global thing that we've been chasing. Yeah, and tell us a little more about Represent also, which is your organization and how you got both got working together. A little context, he manages my work. <laughs> <laughs> so Represent is an entertainment company. Uh, we manage a number of musicians. We work with a number of brands on their pop culture marketing. Uh, we do a bunch of investments in consumer and consumer tech and D2C. So, uh, that's how we're structured as an entertainment business. I think it's very unique in the position that we're at. Uh, we're not purely a management agency. We do a lot more beyond that. Uh, we started working together, I think, almost 10 years back, or maybe even longer. Uh, he was, I invited him to come perform at my college festival. That's when we met for the first time. And uh, we just started, we just hit it off at that moment and we started growing. But coming to today, uh, India is at this very unique stage in music in particular and in pop culture in general. So we're the number three market in the world on Spotify. Uh, we have the most number of users on Spotify. We're number one on Instagram, we're number one on YouTube. Uh, we have the fourth most highest number of songs releasing every single day out of any other country in the world. Uh, we've set up touring where you've seen massive uh, festivals like Lollapalooza entering India now. You, you're seeing Ed Sheeran perform in India to 50,000 people next week, which is the most number of tickets sold for any concert ever in India. So, pop culture has gotten that level of adoption now and consumers are started spending towards it. Uh, there's tons that tech and even Web3 can do to support this industry because this industry is still living on very old principles, very old laws, very old structures which need to be changed and tech has a great uh, space to solve for that. So far, people have been using AI almost as a toy in music, where you're trying to get it to sing as another singer, you're trying to get it to write as another writer, but there's so much more that can be solved which will actually get you great economic value. So be it the way royalties are dispersed, there's so much that AI and Web3 can do together to really solve for that. Uh, the way songs are registered across the world, there are 1,40,000 songs released every single day, but still no one has been able to have almost like a one step way of registering that song all around the world. You struggle to collect money right now. Tons of money is just lost in something called a black box, which is basically money that is undercovered. Uh, and then that gets just split between the major labels and the artists that actually made it never end up seeing the, uh, that money in their lives. So tech 
has a huge uh, opportunity right now to really build something new for the music industry because it's honestly very outdated. Uh, it's done and dusted. There has been no uh, work. We're trying really hard to work towards uh, changing the Copyright Act. We're lobbying really hard to do that. But at the same time, that's going to create a lot of opportunities just to build businesses around it. Sure. I think you've just given a business opportunity for this tech community present out here just to build a startup platform for collecting royalties and processing them. So 100%. We need that. <laughs> it doesn't just Somebody impact. Just gonna pick it it doesn't it's just impact like, music, it impacts uh, the music business, you can build it for authors, you can build it for any royalty based business. Any so anything yeah. that can catalog in, uh, just help in cataloging and then disbursement of payments, uh, even for fashion brands, everything, that it's, it's just a wide opportunity which someone should really build towards. And music yes. is a great first topic. Absolutely. And I think, you know, it's, and not just for India, but you actually build it for artists around the world. 